Buckle up, buddy. Buckle the fuck up and strap that in and fucking roll the windows up. And get ready to be listening to some Phil Collins, some Rod Stewart, because it's going to be a long way home. And download Tinder, too, probably, on the way. What's up? This is Riff Rap, a.k.a. Dale D'Antoni, a.k.a. Jody High Roller. You're watching World Star Hip Hop, and this is Relationship Advice. For our first question of the day, this is from Felipe on Insta. How do I get out of the friend zone? That's not up to you to try to work a way out. I think when somebody meets somebody for the first five minutes, 10 minutes, and they already know kind of what they would like from that person. Maybe you need to maybe go to the gym a little more, change your diet up, drink a gallon of water a day. I don't think buying somebody something or winning somebody over is the key. I think look inside yourself and try to improve yourself somehow maybe. Don't be too hard on yourself that you can actually do something and never spend money to try to win somebody's love. Here's another question from Indy A. Marie. Do you believe happy wife, happy life? I don't think anybody should use their whole life to make somebody else happy. I think that the way that you live your life and how you live your life and you meet somebody else who lives the similar same way and y'all make each other happy by just generally being you and doing exactly what you do. But then again, some people may find happiness inside themselves by making others happy. And if you your whole life is dedicated to making this one person happy, just keep them happy so that they're around you and then they, they love you, that's fine too if that's the formula you work on. Another question from underscore no limit mall underscore. How do you keep a girl interested? I think you 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 just be yourself, and if if somebody is uninterested in people's paths, they just don't on the same path, and they just fade away. If you have to constantly be working to entertain somebody's mind, maybe that's not the right person for you, and you might not want to hear that. But that's just what it is. From Punk Rock Michelle on Instagram. Hey Riff Raff, how will I know he really loves me? Well, here's here's the thing. Here's how you know he really loves you. If he's going out with his friends and he's like, hey, do you and your girls want to hang out with me and my friends? That's a that's a that's a crazy one. That's a good one. And that's coming from Dan Tony. Here's another one from Bo underscore Watts. My girlfriend says I'm toxic. What the fuck does that mean? That means it's time to pack your shit up and get to dipping. Cause if she already thinks you're, you're toxic for her life, that means she's evaluated with her friends. And that means that either you're emotionally draining, financially draining, or plateaued in a relationship where it's not going up or down. If she's saying that now, can you imagine her saying that for 90 years and she's, she's gonna say, well, you toxified my life and destroyed me. I coulda, I coulda, shoulda, I got a bad case of the coulda, shoulda, wouldas. She, buckle up, buddy. Buckle the fuck up and strap that in and fucking roll the windows up and get ready to be listening to some Phil Collins, some Rod Stewart, because it's gonna be a long way home. And download Tinder too, probably, on the way. What else we got? Brasio, B-R-A-C-C-C-I-O, B-I-N-G-O. They ask, do I pick Huskies or a wife? He Dude, you shouldn't have to pick either. If you have Huskies, the future wife is gonna love the Huskies and be able to take care of them. You don't wanna go out of town and then the fucking dogs are running wild around the neighborhood and she doesn't know because she's she's on Snapchat checking out the new filters. You gotta ch have a girl who checks up on the dogs and also you loves the dogs as much as you love them and that goes for girls and guys as well. Some guys don't like dogs and the girl has a fucking Pomsky. Right? Girl has the Pomsky. Oh, don't, I can't let the Pomsky sleep in the bed because things of that nature because I don't like dogs. That's the guy. It's gonna be a tough relationship. They're gonna be uphill battles. Two rams just fucking just padushka, skadushka, sadushka. That's not love, that's not a relationship. It sounds like hell. Here we go. 888 Devo. If I blow up, comma, and she's not bad enough, how do I let her down easy? Sounds like you're trying to settle. And it sounds like you're making her settle because she could go be trying to find happiness with somebody else. Sounds like you already have it in your mind. If you blow up and you make money, you aren't going to be with her. So don't string her along. Tell her that you just want to be friends and that you can't be tied down right now because you have a lot on your plate. And then you move on. If she wants to hang out when she hangs out, cool. If you want to hang out when you hang out, it sounds like you have other dreams and aspirations and it's not fair to somebody to hold them back. You go off and you just be single. You tell them you're single because you don't want to keep somebody around five years and have them just right here by you and you're dragging them around and you find something better and be like, oh, well shit, I don't got the Buick anymore. Now I got an option to go over here and get this new Range Rover with the lift kit. See you later, Buick, I'm going range, right? 
So don't treat her like the Buick. Maybe she's somebody else's range. You see what I'm saying? All right, Dan Tony. We got A. Aaron Macaroni 6. Question is, how do I buy a girl a Gucci top or blouse? You, you do it with cash. Don't go in with her with a, a card. Don't, not a debit card, a credit card. You gotta go in with racks and make sure they aren't counterfeit. You don't wanna get embarrassed at the Gucci store. Oh, it's 6,700, they run it and uh, Oh, my credit, my card limit's only 5K. That's why I gotta call real quick. Y'all just go ahead, kidding, we have another glass of wine. Sir, we, no more wine until we get this card situation just ready. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go over here to Foot Lock real quick. Yo, uh, can y'all up my limit to 10,000 for a day? But sir, you only have 8,800. Oh, uh, shit, y'all got credit? Okay, can't have that. Racks, if you're going to buy expensive stuff for girls, fucking carry racks on you, because right when you get to line, fucking problems hit shit at the van. Fuck that. I learned that when I was 16. Hey, this has been all my time for today, Dan Tony special. Uh, you watch World Star Hip Hop, and this is Relationship Advice. Uh,